IBA at Winchester, engineering announcements for the radio and television trade. from the IBA. Today our plans to re-equip the existing ITV high power transmitters. We've also the full roundup of regular transmitter news including the latest additions to the Channel 4 network, this week's special announcements and full details of four new television relays in Somerset, Exford, in Gloucestershire, Winchcombe, in Derbyshire, Edale and in Dumfries and Galloway, One Lock Head. More details later. Many existing high-power ITV transmitters have now been in service for more than 16 years. As transmitters age, there is an increased maintenance requirement, which gives rise to an increase in labour costs and components needed to run the transmitters. What's more important, there are benefits to be gained by using modern and more efficient equipment. These factors have led to the decision to replace the ITV transmitters at a number of stations over the next few years and the IBA has ordered replacements for 14 of the existing high-power transmitters. Improvements in design have led to a significant reduction in the size of transmitters, and two sets of modern transmitters in parallel operation can fit into the space at present occupied by one set of the older transmitters. This means the new equipment can be installed without major building alterations. During the installation period, one set of the old transmitters is removed to make room for the two sets of replacement transmitters. Then a temporary transmitter connected in parallel with the remaining set of old equipment will maintain service with no reduction in power. Since the first UHF high power ITV transmitters were commissioned in 1969, there have been design improvements which can substantially reduce electricity costs. While the original pairs of 25 kilowatt parallel operated transmitters have a power consumption of 250 kVA, the consumption of the new transmitters will be only 140 kVA, a saving of more than 40% and a considerable reduction in operating costs. The major factor contributing to this improved efficiency is the design of the Klystron power amplifier. In the existing ITV transmitters, many dating back to 1969, the Klystrons operate at a typical efficiency of 28%. The fourth channel transmitters brought into service in November 1982 had efficiencies of more than 40%. But the new equipment, using pulsed techniques with the black level close to saturated power level, will offer efficiencies of more than 60%. The first of the 14 new transmitters will be installed next year at Pontoc Pike, and a further six transmitters will be installed each year at other stations. The new transmitters will have one other major advantage. Additional circuitry can easily be added should the IBA decide to introduce stereo television sound. After the first phase of 14 stations, we expect that work will continue to replace all the existing ITV main transmitters. Transmitter news now, starting with special announcements. In Scotland, on the Western Isles, Achel continues on reduced power while we wait for better weather for aerial repairs. In the Midlands, Sutton Coldfield will be on reduced power on ITV until close down on Friday night for transmitter feeder replacement. Northwest of Oxford, Charlbury was expected off between 9am and 1pm today for electricity board maintenance. In Derbyshire, Ambergate was expected off until about half past 12 this afternoon for weather dependent aerial maintenance. And there's also aerial work at Thlanharan in South Wales with the relay expected off between 9.30 and 11.30 each morning until Thursday. Tomorrow morning, the Kukorni relay near Arabogaveni is expected off between 9.30 and 11.30 for aerial maintenance, weather permitting, and it may also be off between 9.30 and 11.30 on Thursday and Friday. On Thursday morning, Glen Gorm on the Isle of Mull will be off between 5 past 9 and 10 o'clock while we prepare the relay for the start of Channel 4. 
and on Thursday afternoon Southern Sound's MF service in the Brighton area will be off between 1.15 and 3.15 to change the mast lights, weather permitting. On Friday morning in Cumberland, Whitehaven will be off from 9.15 until midday for electricity board maintenance. Details now of another two ILR frequency changes. On T's side from about 10.25 this morning, Radio T's VHF frequency is 96.6 MHz, a change from 95. And tomorrow, in the early hours of the morning, Southern Sound's VHF service to the Brighton area will change to 103.5 MHz from 103.4. And this small change in frequency will take place between midnight tonight and 2am tomorrow. New relay is now starting in Gloucestershire, where the Winchcombe relay is expected to be ready later this week. It's for about 1,700 people in parts of Winchcombe, Postlip, and in the rural area to the southwest of Winchcombe. Programmes from Central and TVAM will be on Channel 61, with Channel 4 on 54. The aerial group is CD vertically polarised. To the west of Sheffield, the relay at Edale is nearing completion and is also expected on the air this week. The station is for about 350 people along part of the Vale of Edale, including Edale itself and Upper and Nether Booth. Viewers in the service area and receiving weak signals from Shatton Edge can simply redirect their existing aerials towards the new relay. Yorkshire Television and TVAM will be on Channel 60, with Channel 4 on 53. Group CD aerials are needed, vertically polarised. Expected next week, a new relay for One Lock Head in the Dumfries and Galloway region. It's to serve about 250 people in the village. Programmes from Scottish Television and TVAM will be on Channel 47, with Channel 4 on 41. The aerial group is B and the polarisation vertical. But in Somerset, the Exford relay has been delayed a little and is now expected to be on in early December. It will provide improved reception for about 220 people in the villages of Exford and Edgecote. Programmes from HTV West and TVAM will be on Channel 41, with Channel 4 on 47. Group B aerials are required, vertically polarised. Channel 4 next and two more existing relays are now equipped. In Scotland, Dollar on Channel 54 and in West Yorkshire, Batley on 67. These two relays will increase Channel 4 coverage by about 2,600. Due later this week in Northumberland, Bellingham on Channel 31, in West Yorkshire, Armitage Bridge on 54 and in Devon, Chambercombe on 31. Expected next week in Somerset, Bruton on Channel 50, in North Yorkshire, Hunmanby also on 50, and on the Isle of Mull, Glengorm on 54. And that's all for this week. But if you have any technical queries on independent television or local radio, do contact us. Our address, Engineering Information Service, Independent Broadcasting Authority, Crawley Court, Winchester, Hampshire, and the postcode is SO212QA. You can telephone our inquiry office on Winchester, area code 0962 822444. We'll be back next Tuesday at 9.15 and 12.15. Hope you can join us. So, from Mario Nicholson and from me, John Lovell, goodbye from Crawley Court.